everybody. I'm going to get you started on how to put all your pieces together to make a bird art inspired by James Rizzi. You could also do this with the fish too if you'd like. So I created a background with watercolors. I used a cardstock paper. You can see it's a little rough around the edges there. What I did was I took watercolors from greens to blues and to purples and I went back and forth with the color and I went all the way up and I've let this dry. So this is going to be my background. If you don't have that, you can use any of these colored papers. You could use regular white paper. You can get creative. We've talked about cardboard, um, anything else that you are welcome to use at home. I'm fine with that. So we've made some little birds. I wanna to talk to you about carefully coloring in it's really important when you color in with a marker for this style that you're following a correct way to color because he really was careful with filling in all of the spaces. So for copying his style, we wanna make sure that we color in completely. So I'll do a kind of what not to do and what to do. So what you want to do is you want to use the shape of your marker to help you color in. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever had this happen, but if you color in one spot over and over and over again, you might get a hole. So I like to try to keep my marker going and kind of try to keep it going in the same direction and not overlapping one area over and over and over and over and over and over again because you'll start to feel the paper change a little bit. So you want to just keep your marker moving. If you need to go back and touch up any little areas like right over here, you can go back in and touch those up. You just don't want to stay in one spot. You want to keep that marker going. You can turn your paper like I'm doing, have this upside down bird. It's worth it to just take your time and color it in correctly. I know a lot of times you wanna get done. I get it. You wanna get your assignment done so you can move on to other things. I'd rather you just take a break and come back to it if you're not in the zone. A lot of times we have gotta be in the art zone to do things in the right mindset. I understand. Okay, we're coming to the end. You can see I've done a pretty good job keeping my marker going. Okay, so what I'm gonna do from here, and I'll show you this guy, is I've colored in, colored on top of the legs. This is just gonna help me for the cutting out. Give me a little, it'll give me a little bit more room to cut. And same thing with up here. It doesn't have to be even because we'll trim that off. But adding a little bit of color around those little lines, it's helpful. So you don't have to try to cut those lines out by themselves. Now let me show you what happens when you're trying to get done. You can go play with whatever else you want to play with. And you just color it in like this. See the difference? Done faster, but not quite the right style we're going for. This might be a great style for some other artwork, but we're trying to make sure that we color inside the lines. So I know that it's hard some for some of you to slow down, but it is important. It will make a big difference in how it looks. If you have trouble cutting, that's okay. You can ask for help. If you did the drawing and you need help with the cutting, that's fine. I always say try to cut out as close to it as you can. Get all those little pieces out of the way. That really helps. All that extra stuff can really get in our way. So if you can cut as close to it as possible, and if you need mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or big sister or brother to come help you cut out the rest, that's fine with me. As long as you at least try to get close to it and as long as you did the drawing, that's the most important part. If you need a little help with the other stuff, that's okay for this project. 
Now, as we start to build our pieces, there's flowers in this artwork that I'd like to draw. There's some clouds and some little bumps of grass. So I'm going to decide where I want all my birds to be. Maybe I don't wanna use all of my birds. Maybe I'm gonna use just a couple of them. These are gonna be some love birds. And I think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I think I'm gonna put that one to the side. So I'm gonna use these here. And I like the way that they're placed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna put a little glue on the back. And I don't mind how you attach these. If you wanna use glue stick, that's fine. If you want to use tape, that's fine. If you have some other fancy way of doing it, that's fine too. And we're just gonna put them down. If you wanna raise them up like James Rizzi did, you can, I should be showing that in another video for you. You can check that one out. If you want help with the glue, you can have help with the glue. Sometimes it's hard to get it just right. A lot of times I've said in my art room that a dot is a lot. So if it helps you to make some dots, you can make dots, dot is a lot. A little dab will do ya. So those dots can help. You can always go back and touch up any little sections that are sticking up. So we're gonna keep, keep gluing these little guys down. I'm almost done. And remember I said these are love birds, so I'm going to be drawing a heart. You could cut out the heart with paper. You can draw it on paper first and then put it down. I'm fine with any way that you'd like to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw with a Sharpie because I feel confident that I can go ahead and do it. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw my heart, my love birds, and I'm gonna draw some flowers like James Rizzi. So I'm gonna do a circle, bump, 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 kind of reminds me of the wings, bump, 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 and just a line down, and just another bump, bump. And I can add those wherever I'd like. I'm gonna add some more bumps of grass. Bump, bump, bump. Maybe some grass by the feet. Maybe I'll put another flower over here. So you can just start filling up your page with flowers and bumps. I know a lot of times we wanna draw like the spiky grass or lines of grass, but if we're following James Rizzi's style, then we would do the little bumps of grass. And you could use markers or color pencils. I'm going to use paint and I'm going to paint the flowers just like how he has them in his art. I'm using acrylic paint. If you have tempera paint, that's fine. Sometimes you have to go back over and do more coats of paint. That's okay too. I have my water. I'm gonna add my, my red for the heart. There we go. When this is all dry, I can go back over any of the Sharpie lines that I might have gone into. My little lovebird. So I'm kind of combining a few, I'm gonna turn my paper to make it easier. I'm combining a few of James Rizzi's artworks. There's one that I showed you in the slideshow that's just called Lovebirds. So I'm kind of putting this one and I think it's called All About the Birds together. Now for those little grass, I'm gonna take some of my green paint. And you might be noticing I'm going over those Sharpie lines. Remember I said that was okay, because what I'm gonna do is when this is dry, I will go over those Sharpie lines again and clean them up. 
So it takes some patience sometimes to work with the paint and all of these different pieces coming together. It takes some time. But you're always proud of yourself when you really put your best effort into it. And one last thing I need to color are those flower petals. So I do have some pink when I'm done coloring in this grass. I think this is looking pretty good. All right, let's get some of that pink. Clean, make sure my brush is really clean. I got some green on there. Green and pink might look a little funny. All right, let's get some pink. And add some in. Like I said, you could make these out of paper, cut them out and glue them down. You could paint your birds on your background if you want. Uh, just as long as you're kind of staying with his style. If you want to tweak it, combine more than one together, kind of like I did, that's fine. I showed some cows. Maybe you want to try your art skills, see if you can draw a cow in there. All of that is fine with me. So I hope you've enjoyed and learned a little something. And remember, stay creative.